All right, good morning, Jaguars. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, now for the announcements. So, Jaguar news. Please congratulate our athletes. Jaguar sports teams are undefeated in the last week. This year's uh, Washington DC, New York trip will be a virtual web quest from the comfort of your own home. Please check the living room daily for lost and found items. Seriously, who leaves all this stuff around? And uh, Math Club does not meet today. Don't be there or be cubed. Topic of the day. Today I want to talk about the new moon. So today is a new moon and this has to do with where we are in our orbit around the sun. So let me set this up here. And I have in my pocket I have an orange. This is our Earth. I have a potato. This is our moon. I put this over here. And I've got a lemon. This is our sun. So I've got my... This is, this is all of our things in our solar system that we're talking about today. So when you have a new moon, the moon is dark like that because the sun is behind the moon. When we have a full moon, the, the moon is all lit up because the sun is shining directly on the moon and we see the rays of the light reflected off of the moon. So here's the question for you though, is if it's a new moon, why isn't it an eclipse? If the sun is on the other side of it, why don't we have an eclipse every time we have a new moon or for that matter when we have a full moon? Well the reason comes in because of the angle of orbit. So when we talked about the season of spring last time, uh, last week, we talked about how the earth is actually orbiting at an angle. So instead of being straight up and down, its axis is actually slightly tilted. Well, the same thing happens for the moon. The moon isn't orbiting straight around the sunlight, uh, around the earth like this. The moon is actually orbiting at an angle. So it goes a little bit up and a little bit down, a little bit up, a little bit down like this. So while we might have the moon on the other side of the sun, see how the, the moon is the shadow of the, uh, the shadow on the moon is completely blacked out on the Earth side, but it's up at an angle, so it's not sending a shadow onto the Earth, it's just showing that it's in front of the Earth, between the Earth and the Sun. On the other side, we have, we can still have a full moon while still orbiting the Earth as long as it's not in the right angle. Now sometimes, as we're going around, we do end up with it in just the right spot that it causes an eclipse. But right now we have a new moon and the angle of the orbit is high enough above the Earth that it's not causing a, an eclipse. Okay, I do want to talk to you about grading. Um, I will keep moving the due date forward on all of your assignments and I don't know how long I'll keep doing that. Uh, but don't panic on any of your assignments. The, the due date that I had, I keep moving forward by a week, by a week, by a week, and that may just, must, may just go on until um, I'm no longer your teacher. We'll see. The district tells me I can't do any grading, I can't do any instructing, so I'm not. I'm not assigning anything new, and even for the assignments that I gave you, uh, I can't give you the support that I want. Uh, some of you have asked for help with how to do the poster project and I do have a slideshow. Um, somebody asked about how do I find evidence of, um, of how we know what we know about the Cambrian or the Jurassic periods, but I can't show you that slideshow yet until I get the go-ahead and next week I can definitely show you all kinds of new stuff, but I can't do that yet. Um, that said, if you're partway through the project, partway through the assignment, and you've come to a stopping place where you just don't understand it and you, and you can't move forward without some help, that's fine. Just let it go, drop it, take the time off. If you are at a point where you um, are, haven't started on it and you haven't got around to it, that's okay too. Take the time off. 
um, I really can't tell you to do anything at this point. Um, just keep checking in, um, say hello on Google Classroom um, if you can, just to let me know that you're still paying attention, that you're still out there, and very soon we'll start interacting more online. But as far as due dates, don't even worry about them. As far as doing the work, take the time off, enjoy, enjoy it. Uh, the only reason you might want to keep doing it is just to keep your brain from going to mush and that's part of the reason why I keep showing you things with fruit. Uh, I want you to uh, keep your questions, keep your ideas and uh, we'll talk again today. We're going to have another video conference at 1 p.m. So if you can tune into that, do that and um, have a good day guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.